The film commences revealing Bill as a dissatisfied middle-aged man employed at his father-in-law's company, Mr. Jacobs Bank. Despite his financial comfort, Bill struggles with body image issues and discreetly stashes candy in his home and office. Mr. Jacoby, a prominent figure in the community, contemplates a marrow run. Bill, living in a house provided by his father-in-law with his wife Jess, finds himself lost in deep thoughts in front of the mirror. A student rushes toward him pleading for him not to report his possession of marijuana to the principal. The principal arrives at the toilet block and questions Bill about any students he may have seen. Bill, to the relief of the student, denies seeing anyone. Once the principal leaves the student, thanks Bill and offers a tip, which Bill rejects the scene transitions to a donation event where Mr. Jacoby generously contributes later. Bill accidentally bumps into Jess in the hallway, observing Jess talking to newscaster Chip Johnson. Bill becomes suspicious of a potential affair. Despite his suspicions, he apologizes and maintains composure in front of Chip in the evening. Mr. Jacoby introduces Bill to his business partners during a dinner party, where the suggestion of buying a donut far franchise says. Bill drops his cell phone number after a call regarding the franchise. In the following scene, the student from the toilet block visits. Bill's bank seeking mentorship as they tour the bank. Bill questions the students. Motives returning home. Bill overhears Jess on the phone, fueling his suspicions. Almost caught eavesdropping, he retreats to the kitchen where Jess joins him. While grabbing a chocolate bar, Bill directly asks about the phone call, skeptical of Jess's claim that it was her mother. Despite their conversation, Jess smiles and leaves the kitchen later that night. As the couple watches TV, they discuss sugar consumption leading to a broader conversation about Jess's dependence on her father, concluding with Bill advising her to be less reliant on him the following day. While Bill is in his office, he appears extremely frustrated, caught in the thoughts of the past few days with Chip lingering in his mind. One of his colleagues enters his office, updating him on upcoming plans and discussing the schedule for Saturday, Bill, with three students patiently waiting, conducts a brief tour before attending a meeting with investors. Later, Chip encounters an old schoolmate named Charlie Sherman at a minibar spending time together. Bill then visits his brother-in-law sergeant discussing various matters including hither and thither before turning their attention to Bill's father-in-law and watching some chips later. Suspicions resurface as Bill sees a program advertisement on TV, prompting him to request his brother's video camera arriving home. He discreetly places the camera in his wife's room, aiming to uncover any potential affair Saturday arrives, and they embark on a hunting trip despite Bill's lack of enthusiasm for the activity returning home with his brother and brother's husband. They review the camera footage confirming Bill's suspicions of Jess's infidelity. Angered Bill confronts his wife and later goes to Chip's house revealing the incriminating video. A confrontation ensues leading to Bill punching Chip and subsequently getting taken into custody, the incident going viral due to a live show. The next day, Bill receives applause from students as he ascends, J.N. expresses a desire to keep Bill as a mentor, which Bill initially objects to, but Sarah and Chu also decide to stay. Meanwhile, Bill's wife's sex tape becomes viral in the office, but they attempt to conceal it from Bill's father-in-law in the evening. Bill resumes arguing with his wife. Frustrated by her selfishness, she insists on protecting her and Chip's reputation, urging Bill to talk to Chip about the video. Eventually, Bill and Jess confront Chip at his door, leading to a heated altercation where Bill attacks and beats him up. Bill pulls him out of his house and the incident is once again captured. On camera, subsequently, Bill is apprehended and faces incarceration once more. His brother steps in to bail him out, and Bill spends the night at his brother's place with Paul the following morning. Paul extends an invitation to Bill for a swim, initially hesitant. Bill eventually joins in finding and relaxation in the water. However, during a site inspection at the donut factory for work, Random people continually apologize to Bill for the incident. With Chip referencing the Onair altercation, the factory owners insist on meeting. Jess Bill's co-partner, but Bill fabricates an excuse claiming she is unwell. Bill takes them to his office, where they encounter the young individual he has been mentoring. Introductions are made, and discussions revolve around Bill's potential entry into the D-Donut business. The office is interrupted by a knock on the door. 
revealing Sarah, who expresses her discontent for not being included in the recent hunting trip. Bill sarcastically agrees, deflecting her complaints and returning to his office, concluding the meeting with the other party. Bill heads to the mall with the mentee purchasing a telescope and other items. Later that night, he uses the telescope to observe his wife, EES, dropping on our conversation with Chip about a sex tape despite Jess's positive perspective on the tapey Chip disagrees and leaves Bill continues to spy on his wife through the telescope, even catching glimpses. When she is undressed, said in a moment of realization, he calls Jess and proposes a dinner together. However, his student also witnesses the scene and Bill's attempts to stop them from watching prove futile. Caught in the act, Jess confronts Bill over the phone leading to an apology from him. Jess provides Bill with his clothes and requests him to cease spying that night. The next morning, he goes swimming after the school day. Concludes Bill goes shopping with the mentee and encounters Lucy, a salesgirl. A plan is devised to make Jess jealous. With Lucy flirting with Bill in the evening, Bill picks up Jess for dinner, and at the dinner table, a heated argument ensues between Bill and John regarding Bill's perceived lack of usefulness. Mr. Jacoby then rises and declares his candidacy for mayor, urging everyone to act like a family following this. Jess and Bill decide to grab a cup of coffee while they chat. Lucy, executing her planned move, joins them at the table and strikes up a conversation with Bill. She then invites him to visit the store the next night. The strategy works evident from Jess's visibly jealous reaction as Bill drops her off later. Jess questions him about Lucy. Meanwhile, Chip's car is parked in front of their house as he awaits Jess. Jess gives Bill a quick peck leaving. Chip bewildered the next day, Bill takes the kid and Lucy to the donut store, with Lucy posing as his wife per the other party's requirement. The subsequent scene depicts Bill Lucy and the kids setting up fireworks during a picnic. The kid startles Bill with a firework while he's lost in thought, and they engage in playful fireworks. Antics later, they prepare the venue for the upcoming program Jess visits Bill's. Office the next day, inquiring about his availability after a delightful evening, Bill drives back back to his tent in his brother's backyard with the kid Lucy and her friend. The kid expresses a desire for a sleepover at Bill's place, and after some hesitation, Bill agrees the kid then suggests. Bill make a move on Lucy's friend, encouraging him to break his rule of sticking to just one person. They start a party passing around smoke until they become high. Bill ends up having a physical encounter with Lucy's friend the following day at the golf course picnic. Bill spots Sarah arriving with Jim and James, the individuals he introduced Lucy to as his wife seeing Chip and Jess. He rushes to the kid urging them to leave to avoid complications with Jess and Chip. This is when the restraining order comes into effect and the security escorts him out. Bill instructs the kid to meet him at the rear exit. He drives recklessly and abruptly swerves off-road when some animals dash across, triggering the premature explosion of fireworks. The spectacle draws everyone at the party outside to investigate. However, Bill manages to flip away the kid rescues him on a golf cart and rushes him to the hospital later at a pub. The kid and Lucy strike up a conversation and decide to become friends. Lucy expresses her enjoyment of their time together. Just then, Lucy appears at the hospital and reveals her awareness of the franchise during their marriage discussion. Bill unveils his discontent and disapproval of their reliance on her father's money declaring, Our lives suck, despot. Professing his love for her, he asserts that their lives will remain Chen challenging as long as they depend on her father's wealth. Justin offers to give him a ride home, but he declines upon reaching home. Bill gazes at himself in the mirror and resolves to make a change. He cuts his hair shaves and overhauls his wardrobe. He visits his father-in-law's office, submitting his resignation stating that he doesn't belong. There surprisingly, his father-in-law agrees and expresses support for his decision Jacobi comments. Bill for standing up to Chip admitting he would have done the same. Despite Jess's ATT ads to conceal her affair, Jacoby had always been aware of it when Bill meets with the Whitmans. He is astonished to find Jess there during a private conversation. Bill admits he had considered calling off the purchase. However, witnessing Jess's effort prompts a change of heart. He allows the purchase to proceed and hands over the franchise to Jess, expressing his desire to no longer be the doot guy. Bill declares that henceforth he wants to be himself. Decide. 
to separate amicably and list their house for sale bill, then visits the kid informing him that with his departure from the company, he won't be his mentor anymore. He bids him farewell, looking forward to a new unknown chapter in his life, promising to stay in touch. He hints at checking his locker, which explodes with fireworks, much to the kids' delight. This marks the conclusion of the music movie, God, how did I end up this way? Think I'm getting used to this pain.